Hello everyone, this is Sirius Trivia. Welcome back to another episode of our legendary Ma Teng Qiang Only campaign. We pick things up for episode 18 from turn 96 in the harvest season of 213. And we ended last episode with the capture of Sha Mo Ke, and we actually recruited him. He did come with the tiger units, but I think I'm just gonna stick with the rules since we've been sticking to the rules this whole entire time and we'd just be recruiting Qiang units. So we'll get rid of it once we start using him. And over here, Tai Yen picked up a level up. We really want this. So the fastest way would be one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Same thing. Might as well go this way since I don't think I'm making her administrator. So there we go. Uh, war over here is done. We're going to be turning south to recover nothing, actually. Hmm. Because right now we have a two turns away from reaching them if we march we can maybe cut this time down i think we will and we'll be able to take them out next turn so that will end all our threats in the west meng is not at war with us just yet and once Drew go down finish up over here we're also probably going to march them in as well the units are very healthy it's just the generals we don't even need to march this do we yeah that's a good distance we can take them out next turn that's their last piece of land i believe so he would just have an army left. Now we do have an issue where our force here is on the run. And this was just a very temporary group that we summoned. We're gonna eventually summon a more permanent group uh, to take care of the situation over here. I also need to think about what to do with this group because we gotta redeploy them in my opinion. Maybe even around here. The old turbines are quite strong. There will be a massive annexation in the future when we confederate Duchy of Chu. Shouldn't be very hard. So when that happens, we'll declare war against Huangzu's old faction. So we probably need the army here. How experienced are the troops here? Pretty experience. So I don't want to recall them. Instead, I guess we'll just walk them over. Or sail them over. We can go to Ba. And then hop into the Yangtze River. Sail all the way up. That would solve a lot of the issues. Wait, Twilia is still alive? 49. I guess he was... that doesn't make sense. Tuilie was working in the Imperial Court in the 180s. And this is 30 years later? He was not working as a teen. He had a son at the time. Yeah, I think his age is messed up. But anyhow, that's a minor issue. We are still expecting rebellions in many places, so we're probably going to keep some men around. But this is high quality. Like, this group is not bad. We should probably send them to fight somewhere else rather than farm rebels. So let's redeploy all the generals. Because we don't really need them to be standing here. And we do have a conscription building in Fulin, so I guess we could just dump everyone there and then we'll recruit them an army. Fulin's pretty centralized. I mean, it's it's right over here. Uh, here. And we can summon them here, give them troops, have them walk through. Liu Bao's land, one army can go down south to take care of them, one army can go north to take care of them, and then flood north here. They have four generals in their entire faction, we have a spy in their only army, so I'm not concerned about getting attacked by Huangzu after we do the annexation. And plus, I don't even think they will actually turn on us, because we are essentially liberating them by taking over their vassal master. Well, I might want this. 
in case I want to switch up the assignments for corruption reduction in some weird place. All right, uh, we're not done with our armies, right? We have a couple more forces. The main army here defending will just be hovering, waiting for them to take it. And then this force here is just going to hover in place in ambush, similar to them. And that's all the army distribution. Let's see if we have any timed out. So we don't need that assignment here, but Wudu needs it. Surplus market, very, very good. We have one build slot here. I don't have the food to deal with them. So we're not doing that. We are going to do corruption reduction. So that's all our gold. We are making a ton because corruption reduction is pushing in the right direction all over the place. So it's making things a little bit better for us. We have all three spies activated but there is literally nothing to do in all these factions. He's just gonna stash points. So we're gonna redistribute them from time to time, just to make sure he has enough. And then over here, we're gonna confederate everyone. So all these army will be absorbed, assuming we have enough army slots and everyone else will be lost, but no one significant will be lost. So it doesn't really matter. As a matter of fact, I can even send him with a disown so that we have an empty slot to look at other factions because I don't need him. Hmm. I don't have money, but I also don't need any other ones. Quick look at diplomacy. Not much have changed. Long long dropped to 0.9. Should we just absorb them? We get Von Long as a usable character, but he's also a tad old. I don't know who else is in his faction. I can actually, I can kind of see over his land, can I? No, no alliance. So I don't know how many armies he have. If I come over here to faction and look for Wang Long's flag. Yan Bai Hu. All right, so we do it, hoping that he's in an army. And everyone likes this move, except for Qi Let's see if we picked up, well, we took away one of our trade routes. We're gonna form our own faction down here very soon. So we'll set up a trade with whoever we set up over here. 6.7. So we can get this through ultimatum pretty easily in the future. I just want to know which army we picked up. We picked up two. Oh, so we did get a legendary general, but not Yan Bai Hu. Unfortunately, Xun Yu is joining us at 56 years old. We're probably gonna fire her, Zheng Jingjing. I mean, just, I don't need them. Right, so she's excessive, we'll fire her. We'll take that and also fire him. We'll also fire her. We'll probably fire her as well. Yeah, there's just no need. Oh, the wife didn't come with him. Did we take in anyone from... Oh, we took in the wife. And we got a shaman. She was probably heir. Hmm. I guess we'll keep the family. So she will stay. But we're going to fire the other four. There's a first one. Second one.
Yeah. Alrighty, so we just kept Wang Long, his wife, and also uh, Xun Yu. Oh, this is... This is something that happened to him when he was 12. This is a historical event. So Xun Yu noticed someone uh, being suspicious guarding a tomb, or keeping a tomb, and then told on his family. They found out he was a murderer on the run. Oh, a different army set up. He's gonna land here again, isn't he? It's not a threat, it's such a small army. We need to take a look at the new land we got. A lot of food, that's good. Wow, very well built. We really want this conversion, but we have no money. We'll do it next turn. We'll get rid of this. Oh, these are excellent. That's not what we want. Yeah, we can keep this a food commandery. Not a bad haul. They were sieging... Oh. I mean, we're not at war with them. So... Oh, how do we get them on friendly territory? I'm gonna get rid of the retinue. But I can't recall the general. So if somehow... Tila decides to go to war with us. These two generals are going to be in trouble. I mean, the closest land's right here, so we just have to walk north a little bit. Maybe we can march. Oh, perfect. We'll be out next turn. And that's all we really need to do. Do we have new spy options now that we confederated a faction? Nope. Okay. I think we checked all the boxes. Let's continue. And Sun Quan landed in the wrong spot, right into our army. We have a decent amount of capture chance on him, actually. Let's see what happens. Alright, new turn. Nope, not interested in any of them. Let's go back to our war against the Naman. Almost done with this. Any army here? They might have summoned one. No! Okay. I mean, they have more land in the south, but I'm surprised this is undefended. This army needs to heal a little bit, so they can take their time, there's no rush. We'll get them to the river. They're also going to go to the river. Alright, they consolidated their force for defense. They are moving over here, that doesn't really concern us. So Lady Kuron's going to get wiped. Oh, she summoned herself. Is it worth fighting? 0% capture, empiric victory. The map is... What are we fighting over? Ah, T. It's either tea or rice patty. They're both. Oh, this is the rice patty map. Um, we have fire arrows, so. Oh, we don't have fire arrows. Oh, we do have fire arrows, so this shouldn't be that hard. We can do way better than Pyrrhic. And they're likely to charge out given how weak they are. I will try to find a decisive, see if we can up the capture chance. And the whole idea of capturing her at this point is to execute for either the Concubine or the Red Wind. Because she will never join us, she's a faction leader. So let's see what happens. And of course, it rains. Um, but it's okay, this is her last stand. I'm not even going to move my force because I'm pretty sure they're going to charge at me. Let's see if I'm right. 
quickly charge at me? No? Okay. I'm wrong. Alright. We're gonna light it up with all the units, because uh, it's gonna be slow, so we're gonna just target fire each one. Okay, that was quick. I like how they're not all switching targets right away. Still firing at that one. Yeah, these archers don't like to listen sometimes. Oh, it's on fire, actually. Move back, move back, move back. We don't want to take any unnecessary damage. And once this goes down... And we'll just ring fire on them. Fire and death. I mean, technically it's bad weather for her as well. I don't understand the AI target selection, because this clearly is an easier unit to kill. No shield, no range block chance, in range, but not getting shot at at all. Like these are technically closest, so as we moved up with fire will, we pick up on them first, but let's say after we route one, right, we would switch targets. But then we still hit the ones in the front. Let's see, after we wipe him, do we automatically go over to them? Because they would technically be the most vulnerable. Okay, some are. That's good. I guess these are 0% too. I mean, guys, this is just a bad deal. Just surrender. Once your flag turns white, we'll stop shooting. I promise. See? See what happened to all the white flags? They get to run away. Oh, they're charging. Oh, she has a bow out, huh? I'm gonna pull the generals back. I'm not even gonna give you guys the chance to touch us. If we need to, we'll charge her. Oh, she threw a dagger. Oh, no, 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 no. You guys run all the way back. Get her. Alright, everyone else. Oh, when did they get here? Actually, why don't we just charge them? Man, Hongdo almost got taken out. Alright, we got her. We'll let her run away, it's all good. Alrighty, that should wipe out one of the Nama factions. They're all gonna join Monghua. We're not vassalizing anymore. It's done. 
Alright, so we still need this army to swing south, capture Jiujin for us. Meanwhile, we're probably going to end King Mulu's army this turn too. We don't have fire arrows, but we do have the blessing of an army outside of their um, lumberyard, so we can draw them out. Yeah, that's actually a good idea. And then this is... Oh, Zhurong's not dead. She has one army on the field. Which I think we can beat with a level 4 trade port. So I'm not too concerned here. Let's get the job done. This is the last resistance. We'll attack her first. Draw out the reinforcement. And then we'll fight the settlement after. Alrighty, there's more trees than I would like, but then again, we're outside of a lumber yard. Reinforcements coming from over here. This is a very small group, but they have towers, so I'd rather not fight them at all and just let them run around into us. We just have to micro well, and the way to do that is just by grouping your units to smaller chunks so you can efficiently place them. Um, these have the added benefit of guerrilla deployment, so we might as well get them started at shooting the enemy when they come in. Same as these. We'll try to hit them from two different directions. I don't know how wide the deployment will be. But we can just go a little bit in the forest. It's going to slow us down when we run away though. Hold on. This is the edge of the map. Got to plan our escape as well. Yeah, this is fine. No, no, no. These gotta be like nigh or something. We're not gonna really touch these in this fight. It's not really gonna be about our generals. It'd be a great thing if no one ever found them. Meanwhile, they're gonna kite that army. As I'm pretty sure they're gonna try to group up with their other forces. We also have access to towers. I'm gonna place them... Here. And that's probably good enough. We can do a couple forest fires if we want. We don't have any fire arrows, so I'm gonna have to run there, but that's okay. They can get started, we just gotta kite well. Alright, they're coming in. Can we focus fire down the tigers? Don't wanna be running in the forest with those on our tail. If we could kill off those, it will be wonderful before they release, before they release. They have to be in like 150 range to release, so if we can kill off as many as we can. More than one, please. Why are they so tanky? Alright, we gotta move. I'm going to move the other two units over here as well. We'll see how many commits to chasing, right? Because if there's not that many that chases, we can loop back. Because we want to hit them from multiple sides. We're just trying to regroup with them. Yeah, we can flank them. And they can flank them. Oh, they have cavalry. Oh dear.
cataphracts. We're gonna pull back. They're chasing into us. Alright, got rid of the cataphracts. Which means I can kind of try to circle back. They might end up cornering us, so we probably want to move. Yeah, these gotta move. They snuck through the forest. Let's pull this way. We gotta circle around. Gotta make room for the units coming out. We'll rotate. They're in the open now. This is where our archers will do the most damage. I don't know if they have any left over here. I don't want to take that chance. So we're just going to keep moving away from that troop for now. We'll slowly move in. Like there might be units like that. Not going to give them a chance to really charge us. Yeah, we're slow in the forest. It's dangerous. Yeah, we shouldn't have gone in. We should have stayed outside. Okay, at this point, I think we just charged them. Just ravine warriors. Oh, there's more stuff. Hold on. They left so many units on this side. Okay, anyways. That doesn't mean we can stop cutting over here. Generals, we can't really do much about. But we definitely don't need to fight the infantry. How do they have so many units here? We ran to so many things in the forest. We're gonna run out of arrows and we're gonna to have to start charging them. Like they're done. They need to get out. Can you guys charge something? Or just yeah, charge her. Get out. Charge him. Charge her. Come on. Four. Charge that. Five, charge that. Three. Charge the elephants. Can we kill her? Alright, we lit it up. Someone misclicked. Alright, get out. Get out. Don't burn yourself. Group, charge that. Just trying to regroup back over here. Can't touch them, but over here we can shoot them. Uh, 
Oh, he's angry. The tower killed one of the generals. Hmm, losing men. We're losing men with ammo, which is terrible. about to get wiped. It's okay. They're not braced. Charge at something to pull distance. He's gone. They have a lot of men, not gonna lie. And we're not using our generals. Mm, kind of because they don't have much. Oh, we should have done this in the beginning. Alright, routed the general. This is a waste of resources. We should pull one so that they can regroup for a different angle on the charge. Actually, they need help. I don't want this group to route. They need to route him. Right, show up, show up, show up. There we go. They came just in time. Once we clear this group, it's going to be a little bit easier. We route the general. Die. All right, we're gonna, we're gonna pull away from the spear units. He's unbreakable. No, he's he can break. All right, gotta pull away. Come on. Pull away, pull away. Ah, uh, we got hit by the roar. Can we get him before he comes back? Hmm, too many have routed. But they're gonna get back once the roar effect is over. Make sure they route completely. Go that way. Alright, they recover from the roar. They also got out of the charge of the clump. Go over here. We got towers. away real quick. Now we have a roar. Alright, now we charge the general. Roar. Not gonna use that just yet. Alright, we won. We won a chase. Because there's a second part of this fight when we fight the garrison, so the rest of this fight is going to be us trying to catch everyone who's fleeing. Uh, the general- oh, everyone's routing. The general can stay alive, because we don't need to kill the general. It's better if he's actually weak and not dead. So let's first try to chase as many far away targets as we can. Especially the elephants. Alright, make sure everyone's on someone that's far away. Uh, they're not gonna make it to... It's all the cavalry we have? Oh, they're going this way. Oh, that's, that's not worth going for. Alright, kill that. 
kill that. But now you can kill things too. Alright, we'll cut to the end when we will be done with all the chasing. See you guys then. Alrighty. That was a rough fight. But they took a big beating and should make the capture relatively easy. Maybe we can- Ooh, we got his bell. Okay, and we captured him for Spy Master. That's definitely an execute. I don't know if I can delegate for the win, but if we can, I wouldn't mind. Right, decisive victory, we'll do it. Another execute. Occupy. So we ended Lady Zhurong and King Mulu's landmass, pretty much except for this. Uh, everyone else is gone. They have two broken armies left on the field, so relatively easy cleanup. We're finally done with our Naman expedition. Zhuge Liang's group will stay behind to take a look at King Meng Huo whenever he decides to turn on us. Ma Teng will continue to wipe this out, and then we're probably going to declare war on Shi Xie as well. Um, we're probably going to summon the army here. We're going to use Sha Mo Ke, because he knows the land well. He has some really sweet units. Javelin Spear Guards are really good. Fire Archer is really good. Follower of the Flame is really good. Tiger Warrior is really good. Hmm. It's just a really great retinue. We'll have Lord Jun go with him. And Zhang Lu. Now for them, I guess a, a growing officer in the army means we have extra ammo. We might as well go all out. Let me know what you guys feel about this. I feel like this is worth keeping, but fine, actually. For the sake of this campaign, we're just going to go for consistency here. He has decent cunning as well, so this will work well. Alright, and they will be headed over here to attack after they're done. We'll shift our focus, Strugodan will clean up, he will also help clean up, and then I'll probably recall him. This army is headed for- actually they can just- actually they can- they can just head here. Right, they'll heal over this turn. They won't be full healed until two turns, or she would be three turns. We don't need to full heal them, he can heal the generals. So they'll just shift up the river until we get to around none and uh, we'll figure out what to do. We'll probably just park it right here. Yeah, that might be good for us. We did get a fight with Sun Quan's army. He's on the run now. If we can give them a shaman item, if we can steal one from someone, doesn't matter who, Guan Yu it is. Just for that extra 10%. 4535 Come on. We got an item. Oh, Zhang Hong, welcome to the team. Alright, just snatching generals left and right. I'm gonna just remove the shamans after each battle, that way we can keep track of them. Um, who has the other two? Pangde Zanba, okay. Zanba is right here, Pangde is right here. There we go. Okay, and who didn't move? Ma Chao didn't move, but Ma Chao doesn't need to move. Also done so slow in taking this. It's, it's fine. It's whenever he, he decides to end that faction. We have these two old men who needs to get to safety. They can march. We can recall on march. We just need to be in friendly territory. Alright, so we got that set up. 
I did mention we want to recruit troops in Fulin, but I think we need them over here more than anything else once the war starts, because we need to pressure them from this area. So most likely we need to send out an army here, and I think we're going to send out Lu Bu's army. Sun Ren and Gan Ning. This is a very fierce group. And I think for them we're going to go shock cavalry. And the whole idea here is they will just run down any army that wants to pressure us on the open plains. We don't need them to actually take any land. Uh, without archers, it's going to be impossible to siege. Uh, but they can probably flatten livestock and farmlands very easily. We never want to really take the Emperor's seat. We want to get the force application. So this army would be actually perfect for that. And then Cao Cao's capital is really weird. Um, it's not even a city, so no walls. I don't know what the AI is thinking. Anyhow, we do have some spare change because unit recruitment is free. So we are going to rush these things. Jin Cheng will stay tall. Yeah, I guess so. This needs oh, this desperately needs a conversion. All right, we'll do. It's fine. We're waiting for reform. Spring is coming. This is waiting for a downgrade, but we're also waiting for reforms here because we're missing one reform for this. I don't think I'm missing a reform for that, right? So by spring, we'll put this order in and then we'll start downgrading. Right now, our food is hovering just about okay. Uh, everything else looks beautiful here. Uh, it's synergizing with the tea, with this uh, tea, a uh, grand tea house, a lot of commerce boost, a lot of commerce boost, some corruption reduction. So. Even with all that corruption reduction, it's still 48%. Just nuts right now. I'm a little hesitant to upgrade these just because we don't have the money. Oh, food, not money. I don't want to be in a situation like this, but we need a private workshop here. Corruption reduction, might as well flip it right away. Get the adjacency going right away. I might rush all these for the adjacency. Alright, so we get that going. Small city. Uh, see, that's a wasteful one, but it's okay. We'll build that, and next turn we'll have money to build that. We don't have enough for spies. But the good thing is, I don't think there's quality spies out there. He's just for emergency. In case he does declare war on us, we can flip the army. And nothing's really changed here. But we could flip some of the points over. At a heavy, heavy cost. But that's still fine. Queen Jurong wants to peace out. This is an awkward situation. Then she would just have a small army floating here. The thing is, everyone's going to hate this deal, I think. Hmm, she doesn't want to vassalize. I don't want peace. 7.2, it's bounced up? Why? I have to see. Did our military strength become weaker? I mean, we did summon back some armies, but we just summoned two back out. They're not fully replenished, but I would think I'm quite strong at this point. Yeah, our military strength went down. Huh. I mean, treachery is not factored in. It's not one point per turn for the diplomatic... Uh, for the ultimatum and the annexation seems to be one point per per year because spy action is going down every turn i think it was four last time we checked but was, the diplomatic still nine so that's a pain um this is fine no one wants to be a vassal but we can create vassals i don't want to trade with any of them Yeah, we're good. We're good to go. Let's continue. Alright, Mulu is suiciding. His faction is going to be done at the, after this battle. 
And by battle, I just mean one click. Is he still on the field? No, he's gone. Faction destroyed. He can join King Meng Huo. What? Mulu is destroyed. I'm surprised that um, Chu Rong didn't suicide her army. Because she also had an army kind of floating in space here. Oh, they didn't have enough movement. Well, he's going to suicide this turn. They have the boost, but because we have such a high level settlement, I think we'll be fine. Alright, Zhuge Liang will now just be full-time spy over here. Keep an eye out on him. Doesn't matter if we trespass. What's he going to do about it? Alright, rebellion happening very soon. We got to set up an army for that. No big deal. We need to get out of this area because future wars will not be fought here. But it will be fought here, so they could just head south. If we... That's a long time. We can pay the redeployment. It's expensive, but the amount of time is just way too much. Alright. They, however, we will entertain the notion of sailing. I still want the full heal, so we'll take one more turn to the next port and then we'll sail from there. That way everyone can get pretty close to full heal. This will still be a very busy army. Going down to Jiljun. Waiting for replenishment. Getting back into an ambush position. Alright. We need to summon the army for this constantly. It will be rebellion all the time. So let's see. Let's throw our wife. Don't draw us old wife. And uh, future poison volley if we can level her up fast enough. And they can take care of this. Now they're holding up our income because they are holding a large piece of land. So I'm hoping he turn on us so that we can get the fight. Alright, let's do buildings. Jincheng. Wudu. Yeah, we're just reform locked. Yeah. I mean, this is pretty good. I think I'm just going to keep it. Because I don't have the tier 4 and 5 reform, so even if we switch to RN, I can't get it any higher. So might as well keep the better 3. Spring next turn, which means we rush this, we rush this, and then we'll be downgrading this twice. That will take care of a lot of food issues. Changsha can get ourselves a spice port. Oh, do we have any other ports which we can convert to spice? No, not quite. Okay. Do we have any harbors we can switch? Oh, we already have that one as a spice harbor. Why don't we upgrade? Because it needs to be a small regional city. We could go and then come down. That's the option we can do later once we get our economy to that point where we have the luxury of doing that. Alright. A uh, city is probably warranted. We can get a mark. Uh, actually, no. It is not warranted. Yunnan can just be a small city. I'm going to keep that for the additional corruption reduction. That's a grand total of 25%. That's actually pretty good. Lassi is also done. Poyang definitely deserves to keep upgrading just with the number of industry we're talking about, but we don't have an administrator for it, so might have to wait on that one. Where do we want to go with this?
See, this is kind of waste. Oh, actually, it's not wasteful because we need the extra seasonal deployment slots. We need a temple so that we can finish one of our missions. I'm just going to rush it. Because I want this build as well. Tong Wu needs to upgrade. We have an extra build. Uh, we have no money. 300 left. Okay, I think we're good. Nobody knew. He's going towards max point, so we'll even it out again. Okay. Let's continue. Alright, Queen Jorone is suiciding now. Delegate for the win. Alrighty. Execute. Alright, now there's only a Menghua left. Uh, Xun Yu, side with him. They did well, but it's time to recall them. Alright, there we go. Let's pick our reform. So there's a lot of choices. Getting in level 4 might not, not, not be necessary right now. Copper level 4 might be good before we get copper level 5. Tend to all sources is good. We're waiting on the building for the private workshop, so maybe this might be the best. Because we're actually waiting for this. Administrator is also not bad. Forge is also not bad. So many things. We'll get this first, because I know Delger is waiting on it. So we'll get that taken care of very soon. Children. Wow. Wow. Stacks, huh? No item? Okay, no item. Some item, but nothing really great. They're both out of range. If they come help, it'll be interesting. We might actually run out of arrows killing them. Oh, he repelled them and then summoned an army, but then he's also having issues with Yellow Turban. I'd rather have the Yellow Turban take this over, actually. Hello, Meng Huo. I'm here to spy on you. Gold weapon on Nanman rebel spawn. This is our second Nanman rebel. Very interesting. Hold on, hold on. Let's withdraw first. There's a lot of things we need to do here. Shaman? I think one is enough. Um... And then, oh wow, then what do we want to do here? We want to make sure he doesn't die. They're in camp, so they're in a little fort. We're not that strong. Like, we can't really charge the elephant and win. We need to summon some backup. But like... We shouldn't have summoned Gaoshun first. But he might be able to reach into reinforcement range. We haven't... That's more useful. 
What we can do with this army is pop them out into the city and then pop them to this side. And then they should be... Hold on, hold on. They're kind of blocking them. We can let them stand here for a turn too. No one has patience. Hmm. Hold on, let me backspace. And now there's space, I can move him out where she was standing. And that would get the reinforcement. <laughs> yeah, there we go. We actually have reinforcement range. 31% chance. We are going to try to not kill him, route him, see if we can get the capture. If not, we'll fight him again next turn, because a gold sword is definitely worth it. Alrighty, so we're going to wait for reinforcements. I don't think they'll charge out, but if they do, we'll put the towers down. Alright, they don't have any spear units, so it's just going to be a charge. They do have tiger and elephant, so it's going to be a little rough. The fact that Rebel spawns Elephant is actually really good news for Han faction players or players who don't have the DLC but want to play with Elephants. You just spawn a couple Rebels in Naman land and then capture the General, take the troops, transfer it to your own Generals, and you have Elephants. We have a Demoralizing Roar. He doesn't have Unbreakable. And we have Block Arrow to run together. Okay. Tiger is going to hurt, but let's go. And once the arrows start coming, we can see them come. We'll block. That way we don't get hit by them. We'll just charge straight for the tiger. We'll get the roar. We'll get everyone melee resistance. Roar. We'll save this one for... Bit later, we have two of these. This has unbreakable, so we have to like keep killing it. Get everyone inside first. I think the other one wore off. Let's get this one. Tigers running around, it's gonna be really annoying for a little bit. 10 seconds before we activate this. We gotta kill off the tiger. Come on, come on. Now we activate this one for another 100% boost to melee evasion. We don't have any offensive abilities, so that's going to be a little rough. Alright, we killed the elephant. Come on, kill it. Two left. Alright, it's routed. Now we whack him a few times. Not too much. All right, that's enough. We'll send Gaultrum back with the roar. Did we roar? No, we weren't in combat long enough. There we go. And then we capture this to reduce the morale by another 10. There we go. Now we leave him alive to make sure we have the highest chance of getting... Oh, there's still unbreakable units. Alright, we still gotta go kill some men. There we go. That's the win. Let's hope we get the capture. Alrighty. We did it. Now we just gotta find out. If we get lucky here. It's only 31%, but we did it. But he's still on the map. That's the key here. We kept him alive. And we can fight him again next turn. So, let's wait for that. And I think this is a good place to end our episode. We have completed our Naman expedition. This is something we decided to keep ourselves. 
just to push the storyline with Zhuge Liang versus Meng Huo, see if that's possible. Now our army is going to shift. Half of them will shift this way uh, to eventually fight Shi Xie at the center of the map. And then the other half will shift towards where Huang Zhu is, because we're about to absorb Duchy of Chu next. And at, after that point, we should just get rid of Huang Zhu. So uh, one army from here will take that land right there, and then the rest will just grab these. He has only four generals, so he's spread thin. There's no way he can do anything. And then once we have all this taken care of, then if you look at the map, and then Shi Xie will be dead too. Uh, Qi Le, and this is Hua Xin's old faction, doesn't stand a chance. Then our full attention will be turned on the three kingdoms. Kingdom of Zhong will be first to fall with a full push in the south. We'll wipe everything out here, make him abdicate to us. Then Cao Cao is a different case. I don't necessarily think he will abdicate to us given strength of his army and how wide his kingdom is spread out. What we'll do is probably do a precision strike on the emperor seat to make sure he's no longer emperor. Therefore, he can't spawn any more protector of heaven troops and then we'll slowly close in on his uh, territory just you know a, a piece at a time because the armies that are done here will probably just go north Zhangzi will be wiped out at that point and then we'll finally corner uh, Yuan Shao who is just going to be contained it's going to be a containment effort here and here because the capital is right there we can probably confederate Kongrong quite easily as well and then after that just a very simple push and the land that we've been giving to Cao Cao has been lost to Yuan Shao's vassals, as you can see. We gave him Dong, and then he lost this as well. So he's struggling against the war with Yuan Shao. Yuan Shao is quite strong. So the final push for us for the victory condition, instead of fighting his hordes of generic generals and Captain Retinue, we just grabbed the capital here in Beihai, I believe. He took Kongrong City. Yeah. And then we'll just win the game. So that's our long-term plan uh, but first the south still needs to be pacified completely and once we get to that point the rest should be simple so hopefully you guys enjoy this one and see you all next time bye